Hey guys, we're back. Uh, we're gonna paint this Santa here, and uh, uh, it shouldn't take too long, but we're gonna get right into it. I'm gonna put this guy right over here, and I'm gonna first uh, mix my, the red, I use a bright red, so I'm gonna reach down here and put a couple of drops of bright red This is a apple barrel paint that I that I use. You, you can get any kind of brand, but then I get my little syringe here and I add probably two parts, four parts water. And now I'm going to paint the red, so I got to mix this up here and. A lot of times it's smart to uh, ha get a uh, practice piece before you start just to see what your colors are going to look back. I want a light colored so you can see through the grain. Okay, all right, can you come in on that right there, Peyton? All right, I'm going to come in here and start painting the hat. And that's the color I, I want it to be. I like for my grain to show through. And you want to make sure you get all the little nooks and crannies in this thing painted in because it will look funny if you don't. And this is just just a few colors in here. This is red, and then I, I do a yellow orc on the on the beard and hair. All right, you got that in there, Peyton. Yep. Okay, now I'm gonna start painting the the body part. And it's always uh, nice to, to mix your uh, colors thinner because you can, with the uh, acrylics, you can keep adding coats of paint and it will build up. It's better to put light on rather than one thick coat. But you want your grain to show through right in here with this red. And if I need to dry it, I have a hair dryer over here on the side. I'll uh, use a hair dryer to speed up the process a little bit. I'm even going to go underneath and paint the bottom. It just makes your carving any color. Don't leave any bare. It just paint where you can get paint on it and see that looks pretty good like that now uh, what I'm gonna do now is wrench my brush out it looks pretty good I'm gonna set him right here and I'm gonna go and we're gonna do the yellow orc for the beard and once again I do basically the same well, this is folk art and uh, I, I really don't keep with a name brand paint. I get what's on sale, and I, I think it all does does what I need it to do. All right, and the same mixture on the paint. I said like two parts paint and then four parts water. You may have to add a little bit more. How we doing on time, Peyton? Good. All right. So I might add just a little bit more. Okay, let me get in here and start painting this. 
you know, it's... It was a little thicker right there, but I didn't mix my paint good. You got to mix your paint and make all, sure everything is stirred up well. But this being a water base, you can go in and add water and, 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 and dilute it down. I'm hoping this camera here is you can see it a little better than the the little grumpy farmer that I uh, painted. But there's really not a whole lot of color in this. I think on this one, uh, if I have enough time, I'm going to dry brush a little bit of white on the uh, beard. If we have enough time. If you go in, just... Once again, when you, when you seal these off, uh, you're not as likely for your paint to run into... Uh, flow into the other color and and that's the beauty of sealing your carbon some people don't like to do it I, 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 I picked it up and it it, it works for me uh, now there's occasions I do paint the old way but uh, most of the time what you see what I'm doing right now is pretty much is how I paint now, I'm gonna paint these eyebrows up here too then you want to kind of look at it. Good red on it. Now, believe it or not, on this guy here, I do have a little bit of face color. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, a lot of people use a flesh tone. I use, uh, I use a burnt sienna on mine, and I mix it real light for my flesh. I mean, sometimes it doesn't even look like, but but it it uh, it uh, works for me, and I I just prefer this. Uh, and I'll put several, and it I think it has a oh, almost a tan look to it. Um, Uh, can you look at that painting on that way I painted, uh, mixed that? See, it's real watery. Now, I come in now and, uh, and put it on my flesh areas. See, it's so light. It, it doesn't uh, cover the, the yellow that I put on there. And it, and it really, with the color of the basswood, and this burnt sienna, it, it, it does give it kind of a flesh tone. Now, I, I will go in uh, later and, and, and put uh, some uh, kind of red on the cheeks, end of the nose, to get, have a weathered look. But So you can't tell much by that. Now, let me rinse my brush out again. Okay, I'm going to take the hair dryer uh, and I'm just going to kind of dry it up a little bit. Now, before we started, Before we started, I did go in and I painted the white of this eye. And I'll show you. I just went in with a little bit of white paint and painted right here the white on. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take some uh, blue 
and this is what I use here. It's called uh, Blue Jay, and uh, I don't dilute it. I shake it up. I get uh, a little bit on my paintbrush like that. Then I go in and I paint where I drew that pupil on. I go in and paint right in there. Like that. And now I'm gonna I'm gonna dry that with a with a dryer. Because I'm I'm gonna apply some black for the the, the actual pupil. This is uh, kind of like the Irish that you're doing. You want to make sure that's dry. And to test what I do, I'll go in and take my little finger and kind of put down in there. And if it doesn't bring up any paint. It's dry. Now what I'm going to do is take uh, a tube of, this is a Liquitex Mars Black, and I do this right from the tube. And I'm, I just really just put a little bit of paint on the end of that. And I come in here and I work this inside pupil right here like this for the inner part of the eye uh, you can keep the picture on that there Peyton and we will go in now and uh, what I'll do oh there was my I'm gonna take the hair dryer again Go in and dry this eye. Put that right there. How are we doing on time? Okay? About five minutes. Okay. Now I'm going to go over here, and I've got a. This is a, a gel. What you call a gel pen. I'm going to, first of all, put the top back on the blue. And I go in and make me a little white dot right here uh, to where it kind of shows that the eye is reflecting like that right there. And uh, now I also, let me, can you see that in there, Peyton? Yep. All right, now I do want to take a gel pen and uh, where that blue jay was right in here I like to go in just put me a little bit of mark right in there like that right there now how we doing time Peyton we got about got three three minutes three minutes yep. okay what I want to do is come in here Take a little bit of this red, and I'm going to really water this red down because I'm going to highlight the cheeks and the nose. I come in here. And highlight that cheek there. Can you see that all right? Yep. Okay. Then come in here. I like uh, this squinted eye and the cheek as well and the tip end of the nose just like that right there I'm, what are we doing on time Peyton? good about two minutes okay all right that that's pretty much the Santa I painted and I, it didn't take long 
Now, uh, I will, this has got a kind of a luster on it. When I finish with this, I go on and put uh, several coats of, of men wax on it, the natural 209, and it really highlights the colors and gives it a, a, a luster. Uh, but I, I, I didn't uh, dry brush this one, but I think I may dry brush this one here uh, just to give it a, just a white tint. But now, uh, we're done with these here, but I wanted to share with you what we're going to do uh, after uh, I uh, uh, we finish up on this guy here. Let me reach over here. Uh, this is a cowboy, one of my rough outs, and I'm going to do a big rough out, and it may take us a little while, but this is a finished product, and this is what the rough out looks like, and I kind of drew on the face in there. But anyway, that's that's our next uh, uh, project that we'll be doing, and it, it's probably going to be maybe six or seven videos to get because it's a pretty good size carpet. So uh, happy carving to everyone, and I'll see you next time. Bye.